ಶಾಂತಿ ಟುಡೆ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆರಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಲವ್ ಲೀನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ವಿಚ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಮರ್ಜ್ ಇನ್ ಬಾಬಾಸ್ ಲಾವ್ ಬಾಬಾ ಗೇವ್ ಅಸ್ ಸರ್ಟಿಫಿಕೇಟ್ all brahmans have more than 100% love for baba is it true hmm? everybody feels that love then you don't need a talk on that isn't it so we are fortunate that baba gives us love of all relationship because different people have different inclination not everyone will experience relationship of the same love to the same extent so we i have to first check how much percentage of love i have for baba and have i experienced all relationships so baba as a father gives inheritance so as i remember my inheritance of heaven the gift that baba has brought for me naturally that will help me to love him as a father as a mother baba gives me so much sustenance he accepted me as i am just as mother loves child whatever the child is ugly beautiful dirty mischievous whatever child it is mother loves the child the same way baba doesn't look at our weaknesses our vices and even though we have whatever weaknesses vices she says don't worry i have come to free you from that so just as mother as soon as child become dirty and start crying mother knows that the child might have passed urine or feces or whatever it is and cleans with love so that the child is clean and happy in the same way as soon as we run to baba crying complaining asking baba is ready ever ready to help us as a teacher baba comes to teach us invariably every day whether we are studying or not whether we enjoy morally or not or we are too tired to enjoy the moli still baba comes all the way far away from far away land to teach us so if we see the love of baba to teach us 
naturally as a teacher. Not only He teaches us, but He gives us guarantee that I'll make you world sovereign. So as we realize how many treasures of knowledge He keeps on giving, we love Baba as a teacher. So love for Murli is love for Father. as a teacher. Then as a guru, Baba gives us Srimat, direction, so that we become elevated, we are guided, and we are going along the right path, of Mukti and Jivan Mukti. And as a beloved, Baba decorates us, decorates us with virtues, powers, etc. As a child, Baba takes something from us to give it in return thousandfold. No, because as a child we sustain Baba, we help Baba with our time, money, energy, but in return He gives many, many fold. So I had to see that I am practicing that bodiless stage and completely detached from my body and my bodily relations because then only I can have that deep love for one Baba. Otherwise, my love will be divided amongst human beings, material things, as soon as I have attachment to anything, my love for Baba will be that much less. Try to see that I'm totally detached from everything else. No doubt we love everybody, because that is our nature, being loving. But I have to see that my love for Baba is unique and special and I have experienced all different types of love. And different people will have natural inclination with one or another relationship. Not everybody will have experienced all relationships. And if one hasn't experienced, naturally one has to experiment with that. Because some Brahmans have some block because of our past experiences, that we haven't let go of those experiences, what happens? We can't accept that relationship. For example, if somebody has abusive father or mother who had been bossy or scolding or expecting or putting pressure on the children and being all the time nasty or not caring or not loving, like in dysfunctional family, or those parents who are 
alcoholic or addicted to something or another, they don't have time to attend to the children, then naturally those children will have that block for that relationship. And so they may not be able to accept Baba as a father or mother or friend or teacher because they have been betrayed in those relationships. And that's where I had to really remind myself and take myself beyond that logic experience. That is, I had to say that these are logic relationships, human beings, they have got their limitations. But Baba is beyond limitation. Baba has unconditional love, pure love. And he never gets angry with us, he never abuses us. Whatever we are, we say, I love you. And every morley he will start with usually sweet words. If not start in the end, he will always say, you are sikiladhe, mithe mithe sikiladhe bache. So his love is seeing us as sweet, whatever we might be, whether we are sweet or not, but he sees us as a sweet children, lovely children, long lost and now found children. So once I realize his unconditional love, then I need to back, break those barriers or blockages, go beyond that. Or at least start with some relationship which I find very comfortable and convenient. Then it becomes easy. So as I experiment with that, naturally I'll find that I'll be able to experience all relationship. And I have seen many, many BKs who have not only experienced Baba's alokic relationship, but that has also help them to be more loving to their logic relationship with whom they were not happy. So they were able to break that bondage or barrier that they had with their logic relationship. So as I realize the treasures that Baba gives us, because once you see what Baba is giving you now and in future, because not only in future, He doesn't just give temptation for the future, but He shares now all the treasures that He has, unlimited treasures, knowledge, virtues, powers, love, everything. So naturally, if we are receiving them from Baba, our love becomes deep. And as our love becomes deep, it becomes easy to remember Him. As today Baba was talking about when a Kumari gets engaged, to a gentleman then, even without seeing, because in those days, in 1950s, 60s, it was match marriage, not love marriage. So without seeing that person, at the most just see the photograph of the fiancé, and they will have such a love for each other.
the same manner, when we get engaged to Baba, and I know sometimes, no, when Brahmins got their ring, ring ceremony is like a celebration for so many people. They're so excited that they are getting engaged to Shri Baba. They take photograph and all sorts of things. So, if we keep that intoxication as now I am engaged to Baba, then naturally that love can be of the lovers. And our memorial are there, uh, even amongst logic lovers, Romeo and Juliet and Sirin and Farad and Laila and Majnu and all sorts of uh, couples. No, their, their love has been so deep that there are stories, novels and movies and all prepared to show how much love a couple can have amongst themselves. And that is just a logic couple with limited virtues and powers, whereas Baba is having unlimited virtues and powers. And so, once I have that engagement or marriage to Baba, naturally, it is easy to be merged in love of one. And as today Baba was emphasizing, I need to have that power of concentration. It may take time for my mind to focus because the mind has been given freedom, run here and there, so we might be thinking about this and that and everything. So what we need to do is bring my mind again and again from whatever thoughts I am having and start having that loving conversation with Bab Dada as whatever one wants to experiment. Because if I want to experiment Baba as a father or mother, I need to imagine myself as a child holding father's or mother's hand and playing with them and going around with them wherever I'm going. If I want to have experiment as Baba is my companion, beloved, naturally wherever I go, I need to invite, come on Baba, let's go. Hold hand in hand, as Baba was saying, hmm, double foreigners like to hold hand of each other. So, we had to visualize, imagine, whatever it is, as a companion, hold hand and wherever you go, invite him. And this is such a companion who can be with us all 24 hours. Other companions, the lovers, even if they love each other so much, they can't be all the time 24 hours. Whereas, this companion can be all the time, eating, sitting, walking, sleeping, wherever I am, I can be with that companion and have conversation with him. And naturally, it 
demand whatever I need from that beloved. Not only love, but all sorts of help. So we can claim the right to all Baba's treasures, whichever treasure we want, time, virtues, powers, knowledge, whichever treasure we want, whatever help we need, we are able to receive it. And those who have experimented have found that Baba has fulfilled desires, whether it's bhagats or children. Bhagats also Baba fulfills desires. Whether it's a vision or getting child or getting wealth or getting job, small material things also, Baba fulfills. Whereas as a children we can claim the right and we can demand whatever we want. And Baba has been able to fulfill most of the desires of the children. And now I know some of the Brahmas, they wanted to go in trance every day, meditating at three o'clock, Baba, I want to go in trance, they have been able to go it, visualize it, go in trance. I know of one sister, she wanted to learn Hindi in trance. She wouldn't go to anybody else, any human being to learn Hindi. She used to go in trance and Baba taught her Hindi. And sometimes some of the Brahmas, they wanted to find a house, they were searching house for a while, and in trance Baba showed them direction, to where to go, how, how, what sort of a house it is, and they found it. So on a physical level, material level also, Baba has helped many, many children. And naturally, when we are receiving all these things, naturally our love for Baba will deepen. So it's a mutual. If I love Baba, I experience Baba's love. Baba's love is there all the time. But I have to open my heart to receive Baba's love. And more I have courage and faith in Baba, Baba's help is always there. Because many Brahmins have said, Oh, I was shaken in my bed, I got up early in the morning, four o'clock, I had to just tell Baba before going to sleep, and I am awake. And recently, one of the brother in Myanmar, he had difficulty because in all these military rule that communist countries, it's so difficult to get whatever we need. And one contact source who might have seen the attended lecture or seen that brother on the television or some program. One day, suddenly in the morning at four o'clock, he was told, okay, this brother is in trouble, go and help him. And this, this IP person from the city came to Baba's door and asked, what can I do to help you? So the thing is, we, we see so many incidents when Baba is there, ready to help Baba's children. And once we experience such help, naturally our love becomes deep and deep. And so many Brahmins have also shared, shared that, 
I wanted to leave Baba. I didn't want to come to class or Brahman gathering and somehow Baba kept me pulling and pulling. So, that uh, love that one has experienced will be remaining in the heart of all the Brahmans, you know, because many Brahmans, they might have even not be attending classes or keeping in touch with any of the BK, but they still will maintain love for Baba, love for Madhuvan, and love for one of the Dadis as some of the Brahmans yesterday shared you know, how much they took benefit from Prakashmani Dadi or Janki Dadi or somebody. So that way Baba and Baba's instruments have helped so many Brahmans and why it is, why we sacrifice all these things. Because we receive love from Baba, no? As soon as we receive love from Baba, we are happy to surrender to Baba and to do whatever Baba tells us. Otherwise, no Brahman life, if for other people, they say, oh, it's so difficult, oh, your renunciation is so great, oh, how much you are doing, why you are giving up all these things. But no, because we have received from Baba so much that we don't feel that we are doing anything difficult or it, nothing is difficult. Renunciation of family, tradition, culture, everything became easy. Why? Because we received so much love and so much strength from Baba that we said, nothing is difficult for me. And we, so we don't care what society says, whether they laugh at us, whether they criticize us, whether they defame us, because we know we are receiving so much from Baba. So today, whole day, try to experiment one or another relationship and remain merged in Baba's love. So that as you remain merged in Baba's love, you'll find it's so easy to meditate and the intellect will be pulled again and again towards Baba. Om Shant. that beautiful experience of love. Let my heart continue to sing the song, My Baba. I and my Baba. Baba is such magnet of love. that constantly pulls me and throws me to Him alone.
this God's attraction and God's love. Gives me such an experience of love that I am always remain merged in love.